Okay, I just got this UVC sterilization wand. It's 4 watts and it runs on 4 AA batteries. And this is used to sterilize almost anything. It can irradiate and kill or disable the viruses and bacteria that are on any surfaces. Uh, aquarium tanks uh, use a lot of this technology. You have to give it a long press and then you see the blinking LED. Now while the LED is blinking press it again and you can see the blue light underneath and that's the UVC light. So say if you want to clean your keyboard just run the light over your keyboard slowly for about 12 seconds. That's what the instruction says. And after a few passes, it would clean or disable the viruses and germs that are on your keyboard or mouse. It actually kills or disrupts the DNA and RNA in the bacteria of or viruses uh, making them sterile. They won't be able to reproduce or they actually die. But I guess to kill them you really have to shine the light on them for a long time. I kind of doubt running this over would kill it completely. This is a low power unit. I actually ordered a more powerful one, an 18 watt. So one of the things that you can sterilize is mass, right? You just run this over and it will kill all the germs. And if you are short on face mass, you can kill the germs. Of course, when the mass is clogged, then the filtering effect would be affected. Technically, you're supposed to use this for just a few hours and then you throw them, you throw the mass away. But if you don't have any new ones, you can clean it and reuse it. This is not new technology. But it is effective technology. They work because you can sterilize your shoes if they were smelling before and if they don't smell after you sterilize the shoe, then uh, it works. They will not be stinking anymore. The instructions aren't very clear and I had trouble using it. I put the batteries in, press the button, the green light LED blinks and then nothing. And sometimes the UV light would come on, sometimes it doesn't. I know that it has a tilt switch, meaning if the light is tilted sideways or upward or down, the light would go out because the UVC light is uh, harmful to your eyes and skin so you don't want to expose it by, or you don't want to expose your eyes to the UV light. So that's why you have the, the tilt switch here. But the tilt switch makes the unit unusable. I can't get it to work at all. Some 95% of the time the unit wouldn't work. With the tight slightest tilt or if you bump it against something, unit would goes would go off and you can't use it. So I'm making a bit of a modification which is definitely against the advice of uh, the manufacturer and you shouldn't do this, but if I don't do this, I can't get the unit to work. So I disable the kill switch. 
by wiring the, the two contacts. I soldered a piece of wire across it. So now it works whenever I press the button. But the safety feature is gone. So you have to be careful not to shine the light on yourself or look at it. Otherwise you, you can be uh, you can be harmed by the UVC light. So that's what I did to this unit. I'm gonna Reassemble it and I'm going to show you how this works.